What is going on guys? One more time bringing guys a brand new Bush Gardens video and in this video we're going to throw our tinfoil hats on and kind of talk about what could the park do with the Dragonfire IP? Now this is not going to be a video where we go over the history of Dragonfire. I mean there's plenty of videos about that already on YouTube and I plan to maybe do my own version of that at some point in time but for today we're just going to talk about the idea of Dragonfire, the IP of Dragonfire and what they can do going forward with it. A brief history in case you're not super familiar with Dragonfire. Dragonfire was a roller coaster that operated behind Oktoberfest at Busch Gardens Williamsburg from the years of 1992 to 1998 before being torn apart in 2002. It was a roller coaster built by Aerodynamics. It was kind of a prototype coaster by them. They were trying to implement the same type of structure that B&M did with their roller coasters and it ended up just being a complete mess and uh, it was apparently a very jerky ride, very rough. They had to replace part of the track. What was it like after its first year or whatever? I never got to experience it because I was born in 02. So, you know, I, I never really knew Dragonfire existed until the 40th anniversary in 2015 where miraculously Dragonfire came back and it was like flooded the park's merchandise and it was a big part of the uh, documentary that they made. That was when I was first introduced to Dragonfire and ever since then there has always been murmurs about what could the park do with that IP going forward. I will say this, they say everything's always in hindsight, you know, high, in hindsight's 2020. If the people that say they love Dragonfire now said that they loved it then it might not have gotten torn down but there seems to be so much love and so much sentiment to be like i mean it was a rough coaster but it was so much fun where was that because apparently they needed that because the roller coaster only lasted six years you know, obviously the age of social media and the age of talking about all this stuff is a lot different now than it was back in 98. uh there seems to be a lot of sentiment about a return of the ip because it's just a cool ip you know you got Loch Ness monster in scotland and you would have dragon fire over in oktoberfest because you know who doesn't love a good dragon and the park definitely loves their monster based rides because it's easy to market and there's nothing wrong with that i love it too so i've always thought about what could they do to bring back dragon fire now for years and we discussed this last week in the big bad wolf video and we discussed it in several videos there had been plans to build a ride in the dragon fire building that a lot of people nicknamed dragon spire that maybe the park was even going to maybe call it that i don't know but you know it's kind of like a dark coaster when the when the crowd calls it one thing for so long, you just kind of be like, yeah, let's just call it that. But it was a cool idea. And it was a very intense coaster. Would have gone up, what, 355 feet up in the air? I still would really love that ride. But anyway, it's not happening. We're getting the new Big Bad Wolf spinoff ride instead. But a lot of people are upset that it is in Dragonfire's building. I think that's where a lot of the Dragonfire sentiment is coming from, which is, why are you putting Big Bad Wolf in Dragonfire's building? Like, that's been Dragonfire's building. Yes, you use it for haunted houses and whatnot, but there hasn't been a ride in there since Dragonfire, and everyone kind of assumed that the next ride that would go in there, if there was going to be another ride to go in there, would be something that was an allusion to Dragonfire. The way Bush Gardens does with this like mythology and stuff, I'm sure there will be probably some head nod to Dragonfire in the Big Bad Wolf theming somewhere, whether it's in the queue line, in the ride itself. You know, you saw that with Verbolton, that there's a lot of O's to Big Bad Wolf. The park does not forget its past. And that's the one thing they have done recently is nostalgia. Now, there's a bad way to do it and a good way to do it. I think they've done a fine job. Dark Coaster was a good idea. Continuing Dark Castle story. Loch Ness Monster, refurbishing that. Now you got a new wolf ride. It's a spinoff of Big Bad Wolf, and it's pretty much going to be Big Bad Wolf recreated in 2025. Do they want to keep pulling at that nostalgia card with Dragonfire? In my opinion, this would be the final card you could pull in a nostalgia barrel. Because to me, what it seems like, the park is ready to grow and to really advance itself, but it's trying to kind of clean up the past a little bit before adding anything new. And that's just that's just how I envision it. I have nothing to go off of when it comes to that. It's just, it seems like, you know, they fixed Loch Ness, they're getting a big bad wolf ride back. All the complaints that people had about riots that they took down, they seem to be kind of like, all right, let's make it up to these people before we keep adding on and on and on because we know they're going to keep adding on and on and on. It's Bush Gardens. They got so much land. They want to keep making money. That's just how it's going to go. And I know I've been doing a lot of word vomit to this point, but I wanted to give my idea about how you can bring the Dragonfire IP back. And it has nothing to do with the roller coaster. And let me know after you watch this video, have I cooked? Or am I cooked? Last year at the member town hall, they mentioned there was a couple rides that they were looking at bringing back. A 40 simulator, 
a 40 dark ride, and an RMC coaster. Now, we know the RMC is not coming for now. The 40 simulator just seems to be an idea that you got the building, you got the technology, but what do you do with it? You don't know. But the one that sticks out to me is a 4D Dark Ride. We had one with Dark Castle, and I've always said that is kind of what set Busch Gardens apart from these other, like, theme parks. And it's something that, even though it wasn't a huge smashing success, Battle for Ire did do was kind of provide them that, kind of that little boost. Now that they're expanding back into the land behind Oktoberfest, and there's the one crutch with building a, a potential RMC back there is the Kings Mill Residence. They had the noise complaints, there's the noise level thing that they have, the noise agreement, and Invader was already kind of a, wait, hey, hey, this is loud, this is loud. If you do an RMC, a really big wooden coaster, you know, you're kind of tiptoeing that line. And I'm not saying that's going to prevent them from building one in the future, because at the end of the day, money is money, business is business, and business people are going to get what they want by the end of the day. If they want to ride back there, they keep expanding the park to, to still stay within that noise agreement, I think a dark ride. Now, hear me out. So obviously, they're building back out there for Big Bad Wolf, and there seems to be plans to at least install some type of buildings, because I said it in a video before, I'm very curious as to what they're going to add because it's a lot of just open space and Bush Garden saying is uh, hiding a lot of stuff, except for the Dark Castle building. I think it's like an eyesore. When you go to Big Bad Wolf, you're going to see the Verbolton building. And I mean, it's just a big green building in the middle of a field. So I think they're going to do some facades and stuff to hide it. With that, I think they're going to keep expanding, but it seems obvious with the Big Bad Wolf and the whole theme behind that, this is not going to be a new land. It's not going to be a new country, as a lot of us were theorizing at one point. While that is on the table, they said, years down the line, not anytime soon are we going to begin a new country at Bush Gardens. So, as it seems, everything that they're doing, at least in this little portion, is going to be an extension of Oktoberfest in Germany. What they do is they reimagine. Do the flip-flop of what you did with Dark Coaster. With Dark Coaster, you turn a 4D Dark Ride into a roller coaster. Now it's turn a roller coaster into a 4D Dark Ride. Imagine, if you've ever been to Universal, imagine Kong Skull Island a little bit. You go into the cave, and you're in the dragon's lair. And you're walking through the lair, and you know it's cold. It creates a lot of suspense, a little bit claustrophobic, maybe. And you walk through, you walk through, and then you get on your... Um, whatever type of cart you have, and then you go through the ride, and you're trying to escape the dragon. The dragon's not, imagine this story, the dragon is not home. You're an explorer. You're going in to explore the dragon's den, but uh-oh, you cause some type of ruckus. Dragon hears you. Dragon comes home. Now, you gotta escape the dragon. Now, imagine how cool that would be. Now, could, now, could Bush Gardens get the technology for that, where it's like, imagine like the Indiana Jones ride or the Dinosaur ride or Revenge of the Mummy ride. That would be, in my opinion, like the best one. And it's very similar to the Kong Skull Island technology where it's almost like you're in a car that's moving. It's very bumpy. It shakes you around. Can they get that type of technology? I don't know. That's very expensive. How cool would that be? Like you're, drive, you're driving into the cave, exploring. You mess up. Something knocks over. Like, And then on the screen, you see it knocked over. And it shakes your car a bit. And then you hear the roar of the dragon behind you. And now you see him coming out to you in the screens. You know, you might, I wouldn't say a full animatronic. But, you know, you have a physical version of the dragon that would probably breathe fire on you. Imagine kind of how the... I can't remember what the name of the animal is, but from the Harry Potter ride at Universal. We use a system probably created by Falcon Creative Group, just like Dark Castle, where it's just a slow-moving, slight Omnimover type style, kind of. Go through, and you go through the screens, and you escape the dragon. I think either one would work. I would love the, the riggedy car. But to me, I think that would be such a cool idea. Are they willing to do that? Are they financially in a spot to do that? I don't know. They are talking about a 4D dark ride to an extent, and I think the Dragonfire IP is so prevalent in the park, and it's such a big topic now, somehow, years later, because like I said, I think the 40th anniversary really spurred on to talk about it and really kind of reinvigorated the sentiment towards it, and people are like, oh, I kind of missed that. We got so many coasters already, and I think there's going to be more coasters coming down the line. I would love to see them bring that IP back in a dark ride. And again, it would set Busch Gardens apart from these other amusement parks and set them more into the theme park world with Universal and Disney. How cool would that be, a dark ride where you're trying to escape a dragon in its own dragon's lair, dragon's den, whatever you want to call it? 
That would be so much fun. You get out of the heat. It's a good way to move a lot of people out of the walkways into the building, just like Dark Coaster does. It gets people out of the walkways on a hot day. You get them out of there. Then even if they have to kind of walk behind Oktoberfest, it's even better that the lair of the dragon is kind of hidden. It's kind of hidden. It's not really in plain sight. You got to go search for it. So it kind of creates this whole story of your explorers. You're going to explore the dragon's den. Uh-oh. It finds you. How freaking cool would that be? And it does come from a biased point of, I want a 4D dark ride back in the park. I do. I think a lot of people will do. Because 4D dark rides are so much fun. Even at Disney, the ones that are, like, kind of kitty and kind of the ones that, like, aren't really for, like, a, like, that don't really appeal to adults. I enjoy riding them. I just love a good dark ride because it immerses you into this experience. It throws you into this world for however long you're in it. So I just think it would be so cool to have a Dragonfire inspired ride that everything's been at peace with the dragon you're talking 30 years difference like the dragon and the village has been at peace for 30 years now the wolf has come back and disturbed the village and now these explorers wanted to go find this lair now they disturbed the dragon so now you got two monsters wreaking havoc on this poor german village but i know there's a hunger for dragon fire to come back to some extent I want the IP to still exist because they sell so much merch with it and they would just sell so much more if they did something to resurrect that idea. So my opinion is 40 Dark Ride. Let me know what you guys think down below. What would you like to see Dragonfire brought back as in uh, the future now that Big Bad Wolf is taking this building? And uh, what did you think about my idea? Did I cook or am I cooked? Let me know in the comments down below. And thank you all for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that bell button down below so you're notified every single time of a brand new video to the channel. Make sure to go pre-save my new single, What Are We Out, this Friday. Go check out the Patreon for a bunch of exclusive Bush Gardens vlogs and extended Bush Gardens vlogs that are here on the channel. The last one is like 20 minutes longer than the YouTube cut. So go check it out. My name is Wilmore and I'm out. Peace. I don't